Phillips. DJ, you want to sit by the mayor, or who do you want to sit by? Sure. And we're really excited to have this in White Bear. It was a competitive process for the city and the metro to get this partnership with MnDOT. Technology like this is a really good fit for our community because we have such a quaint small town. During the unveiling of the new Bear Tracks automated pilot program in White Bear Lake, <laughs> passengers were invited to take a ride on the self-driving electric shuttle. Commissioner Nancy Dobbenberger among the first. Things to plan for, right? <laughs> the shuttle's mile and a half route will make four stops, beginning and ending at the YMCA, where it will run Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 1.30. We're looking for everybody to, to participate, so please, uh, if you're going to take a ride, there's some rider surveys. Join in on those surveys and tell us what you think. The city partnered with many organizations to compete for the MnDOT grant, paying for this year-long pilot program. And this is an exciting day for transportation in Minnesota. Hoping to learn more about self-driving in a safe environment at slow speeds, about 10 to 12 miles per hour. I guess it kind of was what I expected. It was slow, but it was, you know, we, we, we felt safe. The residential route makes two stops at senior housing developments. We can enjoy our commute together. New Tracks, a partner from the project's inception, will provide the safety operator storage and maintenance of the shuttle over the next 12 months. Executive Director Mike Greenbaum says the program hopes to enable those in need with individualized transportation. For me it's so exciting because this is really the work that we do on a daily basis trying to fill transportation gaps for adults with disabilities and seniors and being able to see the future of what that might look like. In addition to gathering data and user experience information, program aims to advance the operation of automated vehicle technology in year-round conditions. But you don't see a steering wheel, you don't see an acceleration pedal, you don't have a radio, you don't have any, you don't have some of those features that you're used to in a car. Um, the air works really good on hot days and I told, I'm told the heat works really well on cold days. The ride is free and carries up to 11 passengers and one wheelchair passenger. To learn more visit BearTracksWBL.org.